Well, hello everybody. It is Sunday, and it's been a while since I've done a show off Sunday video, so here I am. I mentioned on uh, Monday when I uh, got a few items back in that I had purchased and a few TTMs as well that I've had this kind of goal of getting a card from every single Topps base set signed. And right now, I am as far on that as I possibly can get. I have one from 52 all the way through 2020. And so I figured for a show off Sunday video, let's go ahead and show off each of those sets. I'm not going to show them off in full. I'll probably just, you know, show like one example card from each one and just give kind of a rundown of what I have from each of those sets. So this is going to be blasting through all this because I don't want this video to go on for, you know, hours on end or anything like that, but try to do as best I can. And so what I'm thinking about doing is trying to redo the banner that I have as well on my uh, video intros and outros and uh, that I also sometimes use a bit on my, got off on my Twitter feed. I've got on my Facebook page. And a couple other places, too. I think it was actually, I used it on the Facebook group that I used to run, Baseball TTM Autographs. Let's see if I can get this lighting a little bit better. Yeah, that's decent there. But, um, so yeah, I'm thinking about trying to redo that, because right now I have it set, it has a card, I think it's a signed card from every set from like 58 to 2017 or something like that. So, uh, yeah, I want to try to expand that out and see if I can, you know, get the full run in there. Excuse me. So, if you happen to hear a name that you think deserves to be, uh, get a mention in that, uh, excuse me, in the, uh, in the banner there, leave me a comment. I'll see if I can, you know, try to fit that in as best I can. Because I want to try to get every team represented at least by one card, preferably by two, since, I mean, there's going to be, what, seven, there's uh, 70 spots in there and uh, 30 teams. So I'm sure I can get every team or at least every franchise in there twice, as long as I have two cards signed from each of those. So not really liking the way that light is shining right in my eyes there. So, yeah, let's see if I can. <laughs> I'm going to be messing with this here for a little bit, so. Also, sneezing my head off right now, I'm coughing a lot, and it's not sickness, fortunately. I'm past a lot of the COVID stuff, but uh, we moved a couch out of our apartment yesterday, and so that kicked up a lot of dust. We had to actually take it apart into multiple pieces. Let's see if I... That's actually not too bad right there, if I just turn it completely off. We had to break it down into a few pieces, had to saw pieces off and all that, so it ends up kicking up a lot of dust, had to vacuum everything around here, and just did a lot of cleaning, and uh, yeah, I'm feeling it today in the nose right now, so uh, I'll try to get through this as best I can, but... So yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this. So we've got the 1952 top set represented right there with Vern Law. Should also say, whenever possible, I'm going to try to keep it to horizontal cards. Uh, Vern Law, it's a ver it's a, or I mean, I should say, I'm keeping it to vertical cards wherever possible. Law, unfortunately, is a horizontal one, but it's the only one I've got. So it ends up having to be the default winner on that one. So right there. Well, let's see, moving on, we've got 1953 is going to be Bobby Morgan. It's the only one that I have from the 53 set. Got the 54, we've got Dick Grote, the only one that I have there. I see a lot of Pirates early on, a lot of really good TTMers from those uh, 1950s and 60s Pirates teams. I mean, Vern Law, Dick Grote, both members of it, as uh, just saw right there. Moving into the uh, 55, 56, and 57 sets, you're going to see one from each of those as well, with Bob Skinner and Johnny O'Brien, 55 and 56 right there. It's the only cards I have signed from either of those two sets. Those were both, of course, a fully horizontal design, so... Again, those are going to win by default, just like uh, Vern Law. 57, we've got Frank Thomas and Don Mossy. Show you the Thomas there. Well, I'll show you both of those. Why not? So, this first year, the cards were in the normal uh, two and a half by three and a half size that we know now. There we go. Oh, let's see. So, 58 set had uh, this design right here. Well, we've got five cards to pick from in there, but we've got Tim Thompson, we've got Carl Erskine. Alex Grammis, Albie Pearson that you just saw right there, and Ray Herbert. So again, you know, if any of these names stick out to you as somebody who should go in the uh, in my banner, leave a comment or something. Let me know, and I will get that taken care of and uh, see if I can put those ones in as they are requested by viewers. The 1959 set has that cutout circle in the middle with the entirely lowercase design up, uh, name up top. really like this design. It's one of my favorite ones. We've got Claude Osteen, Hal Smith, Dave Hillman, Hal Nerion, and uh, Don Pavlitich all in there. 1960 set, don't have quite as many of those. Another one's an entirely horizontal design. We've got Bud Daly, Ed Hobaugh, Hector Lopez, and Carol Hardy. We'll show you the Bud Daly one there since it's right at the top of the pile. There we go. Try to get the, keep the light from reflecting off of it. By the way, for anyone who's wondering what's behind me, that is an Australian rules football game that I've got on. It's a replay of a match from 1993. So West Coast versus North Melbourne. I'm a big North Melbourne fan. It's always been my favorite ever since I saw them play live in uh, 2000. So this one before my time ever really having watched it. So uh, it's 
kind of fun being able to get back and watch some of these old matches here on the uh, Fox Footy channel. So just had that on all, uh, well, I seem to have it on just about all day, every day, because it's just that entertaining to me. Check it out if you ever get a chance. I mean, just look it up on YouTube, anything about Australian football. It is a crazy sport, and it's fun as all hell to watch. We're going to move on into this box here. We finally start getting some stuff that's divided up a bit. In the 1961 set, grab each of these off of here. Looks just like that. Here's your 61 set. And so as you see, you've got Hector Lopez to start things off. There's also Leo Posada, Lindy McDaniel on a card that he's shown with Larry Jackson. Unfortunately, Jackson died quite a while ago, so I don't have his signature on there. And even McDaniel just died in the last about six months or so. We've got Ed Hobart, Ray Ripplemeyer, and Dave Hillman as possibilities in there. That's a 61 set. We've got a few 62s here in the cases. Oh, let's pull up these cases first. 62s and 63s, almost entirely ones that were in my dad's collection when he was a kid. He was a card collector all throughout the 50s and 60s. He uh, had a lot from, uh, I think, 55 is the oldest one that he had, the old uh, TV set design that you may remember seeing. And I think he stopped around 64, 65 or so, sold them all off when he was in high school or college, sold them off, gave them away, whatever. Fortunately, we found a few, though, when my grandmother moved out of their old house. She said, you know, go through and see anything you want, take it, because if it's still there when the house gets sold, it's going with the house, so... Went through and found a couple bags of uh, cards stuck up in the attic. So we've got, like, Tito Francona. Well, let's just show you the design here first. There's the Tito Francona card. We've got Tito Francona, Dallas Green, Frank Bowling, Hal Narragon. Midway Masters card signed by Bowling, but uh, unfortunately not McMillan. He's the only one who died before I could have gotten it signed. We've got Alex Grammis and Frank Melzon. And of those players who are still living, Ray Washburn, Don Leppard, Don Tossig, Jack Baldshin, Ed Hobaugh, J.C. Martin, Ted Savage, Norm Bass, Felipe Alou, got Lee Thomas, Frank Bauman, Leo Posada, Frank Howard. We'll miss cut on the Howard there. Uh, I've got Bobby Shantz, solid TTMer right there. Uh, Al Downing, Ron Hansen, Juan Pizarro, Gary Bell, Hal Colstead, and Dave Hillman. So, yeah, once again, if any of those names stick out to you, leave a comment and let's see if I can put that player in the as the representative in my new banner. So moving on to the 63s, we've got a pair of Bill Pierce ones, also a Hal Smith and a Russ Nixon. We'll show you the regular Bill Pierce right off the top right there. It's a guy who's kind of made a little bit of candidacy for the Hall of Fame recently. He's gotten some attention from the uh, Veterans Committee for his era. Hasn't gotten in yet, but I think he's got kind of an outside chance. I mean, you're looking at a guy who had over 200 career wins. He was stuck on some really bad 1950s White Sox teams. Uh, of course, Got into the World Series with them in 59 and pitched with the uh, 62 Giants in the World Series that you see right there. A few other 63s we've got here. There's Bud Daly, Joe Moeller, Billy Moran, Denny Lamaster, Dallas Green, Hector Lopez, George Thomas, Chuck Asigian, uh, Frank Howard again, Gary Bell, Dick Grote, Ike Dulac, Manny Mota, Juan Pizarro, Johnny Edwards, Albie Pearson, and Dave Giusti. So, again, the name sticks out to you. Leave it as a comment, and we'll get them put into the banner as a possibility. So like I said, I'm trying to keep it as widely ranging as I possibly can. So anybody who was on one of those cards with a uh, no longer existing team, a defunct team, there we go, will probably get a little bit of a, uh, a boost there, too, because I'd like to try to get everybody that I possibly can represented. So it's like, got to get the earlier senders, i got to get the later senders, I've got to get the Seattle Pilots in there, all those different ones, the Montreal Expos. So... Yeah, just give that some consideration. Let's move on to the 64 set. Right there. Big team name across the top. In this case, we've got here Ted Savage that you saw right there. Also, Al Worthington, Bud Daly, Joe Eskew, Hector Lopez, Billy Moran, and uh, Ron Hansen. Hansen, not unfortunately in the best condition, so probably not best to vote for that one. If you want, if you want to, if you really want to see Ron Hansen, there go that 62 Orioles card then. All right, so we've got the 65 set. Up next, that's the one, of course, that had the pennant design, as you see right there with George Thomas. I used to have an uh, unsigned, unfortunately, but a Cleet Boyer card from there. It used to be, the, it was one of the first cards I ever had from the 60s that was my own card. But unfortunately, I don't know whatever happened to it. We've got here George Thomas, Lee Thomas, no relation. Uh, Frank Bauman, Al Worthington, Dick Schofield, Bud Daly, Dick Trasuski, and Don Pavlitich. All right in there for the 65 set. 1966, of course, had the corner banner with the team name on it. 
And so we've seen right off the bat here, you got Raleigh, or Roland Shelton of the Kansas City A's. I guess he did go by Raleigh. That's what the signature says there. So Raleigh Shelton, we've got uh, Dave Wickersham, L.B. Pearson, Renee Latchman, Al Spangler, Hector Lopez, Jack Baldshin, Gene Alley, and Dick Trasuski. All right in there. So yeah, if one of those sounds good, comment it up. 67 set, kind of a uh, plain design there. Kind of took off on the 57 set a bit by putting the player name and team name both, uh, or player name and position, right in just kind of plain text there in the card. And of course, down at the bottom, you get the team name there. <laughs> That's an effect right there, that bottom part that you'll see again coming up in the 69 set. So you see right here, we've got Dick Green. We also have Manny Mota, Jack Baldchen, Joe Moeller, and Bobby Noop, Knoop, Knoop. Uh, never know which names have the K pronounced and which ones don't. Usually it's... Uh, a lot of Norwegian names I know have the K actually pronounced in them, such as uh, Knut Rockney, but not sure where uh, Noop, Knoop, Knope, whatever his, uh, where his name falls, what kind of background it's from. 68 set, of course, has the uh, kind of old tweed speakers uh, border effect to it there. And you get down there at the bottom corner, the uh, team name and position in there. Something that you'll see again coming up in 1969 here, but... Uh, We've got Gene Alley in there. We've got the uh, dual rookie here of Buddy Bradford and Bill Voss. I recommend against that one because it's a horizontal card. I'm trying to keep it vertical as much as possible. We've also got Bill Stoneman. We've got Tim Cullen, Ken Suarez, Dennis Menke, Bobby Noop Knoop Knoop uh, makes his appearance again. We've got Joe Moeller. We've got Tommy Helms, Renee Latchman, Lee Thomas, and Al Spangler. The real problem, too, is that some of these are going to be signed in ballpoint pen, whereas uh, Sharpie signature is going to show up a lot better when you're uh, trying to combine everything there into this really big photo and all. So let's move on to the 1969 set right here. And yeah, so this one, Topps really kind of mailed in on this. And I'm, I'm, I guess I can't be too surprised. I mean, 1968 was a rough year in history. And so it's like, oh, God, let's, let's just try to make anything easy that we possibly can, please. So uh, you end up with uh, kind of like 2020 was, but... This one, of course, I mean, you see the uh, circle with the player's name and position in it, and that same kind of block team lo team name down at the bottom, as you see right there with Steve Blass. So yeah, we've got Steve Blass, we've got John Edwards, Casey Cox, there's Ted Savage, Jim Price, Jim Gosger, and George Thomas, all as potential options. And of course, 1970 was a very bleak-looking set because, I mean had the sign of the apocalypse of the 1969 Mets winning the World Series, so it's like, what, what, what do we have left? What, 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 what else is there out there? We don't know. And so you get this kind of bleak-looking set right there with all that. But we've got uh, Frank Rayberger, Jim Rooker, Jack Hyatt, uh, Ray Washburn, Tim Cullen, Dave Marshall, Max Alvis, Joe Moeller again, uh, Bobby Fail. I'll just fail. I guess I'm, I'm assuming the P is going to be silent. So Bobby Fail, Bobby Floyd... Eddie Fisher, Richie Scheinbloom, we've got Sid O'Brien, Ken Suarez, we've got Dick Schofield, Paul Doyle, Bill Lee, which he made sure to mention it was signed on Earth in 2020. Thanks for that, Bill. Uh, we've also got Casey Cox, there's Jack Baldshin, we've got Johnny Edwards, Stan Williams. Love that Stan Williams card, I mean, such a great signature there, personalized up in the corner there. Really does an awesome job with those. I've got Dan McGinn, Mickey Stanley, Roger Repose. Billy Grabarkowitz, Dick Woodson, J.C. Martin, and the duel of Denny Doyle and Larry Boa on the rookies. Let's move on here, We're hitting 1971 and moving our way through the early 70s here. Got a couple of the ones in the cases here, including John Strohmeyer and the late Oscar Brown. Fortunately, I couldn't get the duel finished off by Earl Williams there. He died long before I ever had this card. Got a 71 Opeachy here as well with Cookie Rojas leading things off. But yeah, nice uh, nice bunch of 71s right here. Dual rookie of Fred Cambria and Gene Kleins, which fortunately is upright, so that's a possibility right there. We've got Don Buford, Ted Savage, Casey Cox, Tom Grieve. Another dual rookie here in Luis Melendez and Reggie Cleveland. Very nice right there. We've got Jerry McNurtney, uh, Frank Rayberger. Joe Moeller, Ron Stone, Dennis Higgins, Roger Repose, Sid O'Brien, Ken Suarez, Ken Tatum, and Gary Nabauer all in there. So yeah, let me know if one of those sticks out to you. I've got a lot more 72s than this. It's just my doubles in here. So hey, if there's anybody out there that wants to trade for any of these, let me know. You know, they're available. We've got uh, it's the 
I should have, I, don't, I just realized I'm not sure that I showed a regular 71 other than just the rookies. Oh, wait, no, I showed the Cookie Rojas there, so we're cool. Thought for a minute I totally skipped that one, because I'm trying to trying to speed through this. Um, I tried doing this once before, and it took me almost an hour just to get to 1975. Whereas right now, we're hitting the 72 set, and it's only 15 minutes in, so we're speeding through a lot better now. But yeah, the 72 set, I have a lot. I mean, that's a project of mine, so any 72 card, just about, as long as it's you know, in the vertical design, I'd be willing to scan and put in there not just these this is all available for trade though too i mean they're doubles that i've got here so if you've got any 72s that i am lacking and you're interested in these let me know but uh show you the psychedelic tombstone as i've heard them called right there in that design it's a duffy dyer right there so we've got dyer we've got ray culp we have bill melton steve blast world series card uh we've got bobby floyd got one of the rookies signed here by don eddie and dave lamont or signed by dave lamont i also have the one for my collection my keepers that are signed by both eddie and lamont's and we've got johnny edwards and the late lou kraus kraus just died about maybe a week or two ago that was one of the first ones i actually got signed here for this set either bought it at the national or in 2014 or i picked it up in trade not long after it but either way got that one i've got two copies of it now at this point Let's move on to 73. Only one in a case. That's Oscar Brown right there. Should uh, let you know the reason that some of these are in top loads and some aren't is uh, most of the time I've got uh, Hall of Fame players, deceased players, and any card from before 1960 go into one of these top loaders. Unfortunately, uh, a few have died since I last did this. And if you've seen the price on top loaders and stuff recently, they are very, very rare and expensive right now. Um, you get the combination of shipping slowdowns due to COVID, um, import restrictions due to COVID, um, all kinds of things. And I mean, just this whole resurgence of a lot of collectors right now. Supply is low, demand is high, prices are ridiculous. I mean, I just looked on Amazon the other day, and you can find a pack of 25 top loaders on Amazon. You're paying 12 bucks for it, which I'm not willing to do. I'm not paying 50 cents each on them. So, yeah, those are staying in here for now. I'll just have to do a resort eventually once I'm able to get some more top loaders at some point. But... Move on, we've got the 73 set upcoming. That's actually an Opeachy one right there of Rich Hand, but same sort of design on both. Uh, back is just a little bit lighter. It's printed on kind of a uh, off-white stock rather than the typical Topps gray stock. So we've got Rich Hand. We've got Al Santorini. We've got Chuck Selbach, history teacher at my alma mater. There's Dennis Menke. There's Steve Dunning, Mike Paul, Jerry Bell, uh, Rich, Rich, don't call me Dick Billings. Uh, there's uh, Mike Anderson, Al Roboski. I think that's Al Roboski's rookie card as well. We've got Don Buford, Toby Hera, Bill Stoneman, Gary Nolan, Glenn Borgman, Tom Bergmeier, Frank Duffy, Jack, Hi yeah, Jack Hyatt, um, Eddie Fisher. We've got Dave Marshall and Dan McGinn. All that 74 set. 73 set. That's 73. Yeah. Now we're going to move on to the 74 set, and what we have here, uh, Ron Fairley, Ed Farmer, and Paul Shaw in the deceased box, unfortunately. Farmer a little bit smeared on there. You can see all three right there. Others from that set include Bob Gallagher, we've got Ken Suarez, we've got three of that Ken Suarez one. He uh, does a lot of Rangers alumni events, so I've gotten many cards signed by him over time. Uh, we've got Claude Osteen, we've got uh, Bobby Heis. Heis, Heisey, Heis, something like that. Uh, we've got Bill Lee, Dick Woodson, Reggie Cleveland, Tom Grieve, Dave Roberts, Ernie McAnally, Steve Busby, Manny Mota, Rich Morales, Mike Paul, Tom Ragland, uh, Gene Heiser, another one of uh, Rich, don't call me Dick, Billings. Fine Tops did that a lot. There's uh, several players who had the uh, diminutive names or nicknames that they really did not like having on there, and Tops basically said, yes, yeah, screw you, deal with it. We're going to do it our way, and... Uh, so you end up with uh, Rick Billings being listed on all of his cards as Dick Billings. You end up with several years of Tim Raines being listed as Rock Raines. He's the only player who had his nickname put on there that he didn't go by all the time. Um, who else was there? Of course, I mean, Roberto Clemente being listed as Bob Clemente for, de for I mean, more than a decade is the biggest travesty out of any of those. Uh, Rich, uh, Dick Allen, who was always listed as Rich or Richie on them for a number of years and would tersely respond to people that know his name was Dick and you should call him Dick if he wants to be called Dick. So uh, I've said Dick an awful lot. It's kind of kind of weird. But yeah, so uh, for some reason, he was always just as uh, Dick Billings, maybe for Rich Billings. He signs his autograph as Rich. 
Um, any Rangers alumni events he goes to, he's listed as rich. His alumni card with the Rangers is rich. What gives, Tops? Come on. So, moving on to the 74 set, we've got Tom Murphy, Bill Fahey, Rich Hand, Boots Day, uh, Ken Sanders. And then from the traded set, we've got Claude Osteen, Bobby Heisey, and Reggie Cleveland. See, the traded set that year had that big, huge traded banner right at the bottom there, so you definitely couldn't miss that one. So... There you go. I'll try to avoid using those ones on there as well. I'll try to stick to the uh, just the base set there as much as possible. So let's go on to 1975. I'm going to keep it to just the regular 75s, not the minis. Means a lot less work that I have to do in terms of cropping and resizing and all this other crap. So uh, I'm not going to show you the 75s or the 75 minis because of that. But we'll show you the full size here. Two deceased in Dave Nelson and Steve Klein. Nelson, longtime first base coach for the Cleveland Indians in the early to mid 90s. Also got ourselves Al Fitzmorris, Tom Murphy, Reggie Cleveland, Dave Giusti, Chuck Taylor, Ken Henderson, uh, Dave Chalk, Dick Green, Mike Cosgrove. By the way, I brought up Mike Cosgrove just recently on my Twitter feed because uh, couldn't remember that I had gotten who I had gotten on my 72 Astros team card. I had to look through it. I figured out that, yes, it was Mike Cosgrove, as in the former Astros pitcher, not the drummer for Alien Ant Farm, and not the Freakazoid character voiced by Ed Asner. So there you go. Ed Asner's another solid TTMer as well, but yeah, off topic. Moving on. We've got Wayne Garrett. We've got uh, Larry Hardy. There's Steve Busby, who notified everybody that is not his picture. There are a few times where I've seen him actually sign it. This is not Steve Busby. So it's kind of cool. It's actually uh, one of the catchers on that team. Fran Healy, if I remember right, was uh, depicted there. So we've also got Al Roboski. There's Glenn Borgman, Toby Hara, Mickey Stanley, Bob Reynolds, Jim Rooker, Don Money, Tom Bradley. Billy Grabarkowitz, Tom Greaves, Steve Foucault. Got a Buck Martinez, Ernie McNally, Ed Cranepool. Fred Kendall, Luis Melendez, Ted Sizemore. Uh, there's Bob Gallagher, Frank Duffy, Claude Osteen again. Tom Bergmeier, uh, Tom McCraw. Richie Hebner, Don Stanhouse, Stan the Man Unusual. I've got Duffy Dyer. There's uh, Bob Montgomery, Gary Nolan, Chris Chambliss. Brent Strom, Bill Fahey, and Lee B.B. Richards. Got a lot of 75 signed in there. That's my second favorite set of the decade, so it seems clear that I'd have a lot of those to go right behind the 72 set. If it didn't require a lot of time and money, I would consider trying to do the 75 set along with the 72, but I just, that's that's too much for me to try to try to figure out. Getting kind of cloudy outside, and I think my light has been affected a little bit, so I'm going to try going back to the uh, light here, blinding... See if I direct it upward, if that might help a little bit. I don't know. Let's see here. My face keeps changing color in this, so, uh, yeah. I'm not sure how I'm going to really be able to work this best, but that's what sucks. I'm trying to get the lighting just right inside this apartment, especially during the day. Now that I moved away from the uh, window there, we got rid of the couch, it's like, oh, crap, how am I going to do this really well now? Part of it is, I'm sure, having this uh, AFL game on behind me, so Let's see if I turn this way. That helps things at all. It really doesn't. So, not really sure how we're going to go about doing this. I'll try to just look straight on here, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Jeez. So, let's continue on to the 76 set now. This was uh, one deceased player in there, and that is Andy Echebaron, former catcher for a number of teams, including the Angels right there. And let's get the rest of those 76s out from here. Let's go ahead and pull all the way up through about 80 or so. 79, I think, there. Yeah. Let's see if I can keep these all from falling over. Stick my phone in there, and we're good to go. Okay. 76 set. So, like I said, you saw the uh, Andy Echebaron card there for that design. Ones that I have signed from it include Dave Duncan, Dave Chalk, Gary Lavelle, Tom Grieve, Bill Grief. Kind of weird that you have Grieve and Grief right in there, back-to-back -back in the same, same one there, but... uh. That's how the, how the card numbering came out, I guess. 106 and 184. I just don't happen to have anybody in between those. You got Fred Sherman. There's uh, Fritz Peterson. Steve Busby. Dick Bosman. Bill Melton. Got Bud Harrelson. Jeff Burroughs. Bill Lee. Bill Fahey. Ken Henderson. Wayne Granger. George Stone. Tommy Helms. So Tom Bradley. And we've got some traded ones here of Leon Roberts, Bill Melton, and Ken Henderson. These are the years when they did the uh, Sports Extra headline at the bottom talking about the player being traded. So... That's how those ones look. Again, probably not going to use one of those on my banner page. So 76 right there. So we'll move into 77. 
Notice these players from the 77 side. I've got quite a few from it, though, here. Show that one off real quick. So we've got a John DeQuisto right there, shown with the Cardinals. And so we've got John DeQuisto, as I just mentioned. We've got Dennis Leonard, Dyer Miller. Also Dick Bosman, Mike Baxick Sr. Got two of those. Bill Grief. There's Rick Manning, Jackie Brown. The Dave Giusti, Pete McCannon, Charlie Spikes, Jim Mason, Chris Chambliss. Dave Chalk, Tommy Boggs, Dave Duncan, Kent Tacolvi. Uh, Tom Grieve, Larvell Blanks, Al Fitzmorris, Rick Wise, Steve Focalt, Bill Lee, Bill Fahey, another Bill Fahey, two of him there. I've got Dave Roberts, Frank Duffy, Felix Milan, Dave Lemanchek, Barry Foote, and Ron Pruitt all in there. So yet again, uh, if one of those names sticks out to you particularly, let me know. Might see if I can put them in the banner. And if you'll excuse me for a moment, uh, you probably heard me sniffling here quite a bit, so... Uh, Go and make sure I'm doing this off camera. We'll be back in just a moment. All right, so we just saw the 77 set right there before my uh, quick break. Move on to 78. So we've got a couple of deceased ones. One deceased one from 78, and that is Leroy Stanton. Picked that one up in a trade fairly recently, last few months or so. And so let's see here. More 78s. I've actually got a lot of unsigned 78s as well, but I've ended up with a lot of signed ones because of a uh, big trade that I made with someone. So just check that out. I mean, right there, that's my 78s uh, that are signed, which is, I think, the most that I have. It's, uh, like I said, I prefer 72 and 75 when it comes to the 70s sets. 79 as well. I have a healthy liking for it, too. But, yeah, I've ended up with a lot of 78 signed. And I have even more unsigned ones sitting over there, probably close to 500 or so out of a 700-some card set. I'm considering just, you know, building the set outright, not even getting them signed or anything. But we'll see what I feel like doing with, with those. But... Yeah, I was going through real quick. I just showed you that, uh, which one was, yeah, I showed you the Leroy Stanton there. So we've also got the uh, the late Mike Sadek, recent, the recent TTM success of mine and a fairly recent death. Uh, I've got Bump Wills, Dave Lemanchik. I should say with that Bump Wills, I've had a lot of people wanting to trade for that card for some reason recently. I've gotten two different people contacting me on uh, sportscollectors.net asking if I still have it and if they could buy it. And I'm like, I'm looking to trade. That's it. I don't sell if I can possibly avoid it. So you got something I need, we'll trade, but I'm not going to sell it. So, there you go. Uh, Dave Lemanchek, Toby Hera, Phil Garner, Terry Humphrey, Mike Tyson, Tucker Ashford, Wayne Gross, I think maybe Ghost signed, uh, Dave Chalk, Al Fitzmorris, Dave Goltz, Steve Swisher, Randy Lurch, Gene Richards, Bill Lee, Glenn Borgman, Steve Busby, Tom Grieve, two of Tom Grieve, actually. We've got Del Unser, Tom Poquet, Jose Morales, uh, Bill Fahey, Tippy Martinez, Daryl Knowles, Jack Brohammer, uh, Tony Muser, Dave Rosello, Fred Kendall, Bill Castro, Charlie Spikes, Bill Stein, Jim Norris, Steve Renko, Tommy Boggs, Bill Campbell, John Scott, uh, Dick Drago, Tom Hutton, Frank Tananoff, Clay Carroll, Tommy Helms, Dave Johnson, Ralph Gar, Don Stanhouse, Steve Dunning, Gary Lavelle, two of Gary Lavelle, actually. Forgot I had two signed by him. Steve Bry, Tom Bergmeier, and George Mitterwald. So, yeah, nice block of 78s right in there. So let's finish out the decade here. We'll go into the 79 set, where we have two deceased ones in there in uh, Leroy Stanton and Ron Fairley. Both can be seen right there. And so, let's take a look in those. Got some uh, other sets. I've got some of those TCMA cards in here that have been uh, in between some of these sets, so it's been fun looking back at those, especially... Yeah, TCM Miners of uh, just some random former Ranger. Ken, Ken Poppy, I believe it is. Ken Pape, something like that. But uh, yeah, that was uh, just randomly. He was he does some of the Rangers alumni events and happened to come across that card. It's like, score one for me right there. So uh, let's take a look at these 79s there. Like I said, so I showed you off the uh, Leroy Stanton and the Ron Fairley. I'll just get another nice close look right there. That's an Alan Ashby right there. Is that Alan Ashby's rookie card? No, definitely couldn't be. I mean, he was with the Indians for a number of years before that. So there you go. But yeah, Alan Ashby right there, former, uh, he's actually currently an announcer for the Astros. Got him in person a few times. But yeah, so once again, if any of these names stand out to you, leave a comment. I'll see if I can put those in on the banner. We've got Alan Ashby, Bernie Carbo, two of Bernie Carbo, actually. Al Roboski, Jim Mason, Dan Briggs, uh, John Wathen, Mike Anderson, Bud Harrelson, Bill Castro, Eric Soderholm. So Ron Pruitt, Johnny Wackenfuss, and uh, Reggie Cleveland. Let's see here. Toby Hera, Tom Grieve, 
Gary Lavelle, John Matlack. We've got Ron Jackson, Gene Richards, Bump Wills on the error card, depicting him with the Blue Jays. He never played for the Blue Jays. That's a Ranger. We've also got Bill Campbell, Bob Montgomery, Barry Bunnell, John DeQuisto, Tom Bergmeier, John Stearns, Jim Emu Kern. We've got uh, Jeff Newman, Billy Allman, uh, George Doc Medic, Medic, something like that. Uh, we've got uh, Don Hood, Dave Chalk, Buddy Bell, and Bill Stein, all in there from 79. So again, if one of those names sticks out, let me know. We'll possibly select that as our 1979 representative. Moving to the 1980 set now. Let's see here. Now is when we're going to finally start hitting some sets that I have a lot of. Uh, I mean, once we get into, like, you know, 1991, oh, God, it's all going to hit the fan at that point. <laughs> So 1980, um, only one in there in the Hall of Fame. It's actually signed on the back there with Alan Trammell. Signed the back of this 1980 team checklist card. Fortunately, not marked on the checklist there, but uh, yeah, signed by Hall of Famer Alan Trammell. And so from the regular set, we have the highlights card of Del Unser. I'll show you the Ron Pruitt right here, just so you get an idea of the full card design right there. But yeah, there's a Ron Pruitt. We've also got uh, Bill Campbell, Jim Slayton, Bill Fahey, John Stearns. Ted Sizemore, Bill Lee, Dave Rossello, Dave Lemanchik, Dane Orge. There's Steve Comer, Steve Renko, Scott McGregor, Dick Drago, Dave Chalk, Jim Norris, Jack Brohammer, uh, Jim Kern, Ross Grimsley, Mike Paxton, Ellis Valentine, Mike Proley, Frank LaCourt, Tom Hutton, Billy Allman, Dave Revering, Eric Soderholm, Mike Baxick Sr., two of those. Uh, we've got Mike Sadek, we have Randy Neiman, Bump Wills. Steve Busby, Mike Tyson, Danny Darwin, Don Stanhouse, Andre Thornton, Bill Naharadny, Al Roboski, John Matlack, Toby Hara, Fred Kendall, and Ken Forsh, all in there from 1980. And again, let me know if one of those sounds good to be used if in the new banner. 81 tops, we have one deceased from there and one Hall of Famer, Ed Farmer being the deceased one there, unfortunately, and the Hall of Famer is another checklist that has Alan Trammell, on the back, but unfortunately this one got marked up by whoever had it before they got it signed, so. You win some, you lose some. I mean, this is part of a big lot that I picked up in a Facebook group, and I got such a good deal out of it, it's like, it's marked up, I don't care. That's the dude who signs, you know, 10 bucks per, I think, at least until recently it was 10 bucks per, maybe more expensive now. So, 1981, the first set where Tops was facing any kind of competition. Whoa, I actually sent that one flying out of there. There we go. So, let's go ahead and get that 81 set out of here. Again, I'm going to go with the regular ones. Not going to bother showing off. Well, I'll show it off, but don't pick the Coca-Cola Richie Hebner card. But yeah, that 81 top set. First year they face any competition from uh, Don Russ and Fleer. So, we've got the likes of Don Stanhouse. to show off one of the regular ones there, just to give you the full set design there. We've got Don Stanhouse, got two of him. We've got Steve Renko, Mike Proley, Ed Glynn, John Mayberry, Ross Grimsley, Bump Wills, Jim Essien. Down to only one of that Essien. I got several of those signed back when he was manager over at the uh, Fort Worth Cats, back when I first moved down here, 2013, 2014, somewhere around there. We've got Jim Kern, Jim Norris, Bill Naharadny, uh, Dane Orge, John Castino, got Leon Roberts, Tom Hutton, Dave Lemanchik, John DeQuisto, John Stearns. You can see a lot of names that start to double up here after a while. You get a lot of guys that are good TTMers, so, you know, I'd get their, you know, 79, 80, 81, 82. Bam, knock all those out. Just, it's easy to do, you know, easy to find them. We've got Ron Pruitt, Jack Brohammer. We've got Dyer Miller, Dave LaRoche, Bob Ochinko, two of him. I've got Johnny Grubb, Dave Goltz, Randy Lurch, Jeff Newman, Butch Hobson. Not the best condition on that Hobson, but still looks all right. Presentable. I've got Dwayne Kuyper. Al Roboski, Marv Foley, Bill Fahey, Alan Ashby, Glenn Abbott, Glenn Borgman, Toby Hara, and Billy Allman. All there in that 81 set. Finally down, we've got one column down on this uh, box over here. Fortunately, though, I mean, it starts to spread out a bit more once you get all these other companies making cards. So let's move on to the 1982 set. Nothing in the cases for 82. The set that I really don't have a whole ton from. Actually, it's still in the back here. All right. Never mind, I haven't killed this column off yet, but I'm about to. So, uh, again, I'm going to avoid the Opeachy cards in this one because it has the really big Opeachy logo on the front of them, unlike the ones in the 70s. But there's Chris Spire for the Opeachy set. We've got 
Spire, Joe Charbonneau, and John Matlack all in there. Starting with the Tops ones, we've got Steve Comer right there. As you see there, Tops logo replacing the Opeachy one. Same spot. Yeah, same spot. So Steve Comer, we've got Mike Tyson, Bob Baylor, Dan Briggs, uh, Dave Revering, Mike Proley, Rick Manning, Bo McLaughlin, Frank LaCourt, Bump Wills, Doug Bird, Bill Fahey, Ken Singleton, Denny Lawallen really creased that one up. I forgot about that one getting so bent up. I mean, you can probably see, you might be able to see it on there. I don't know. Yeah, oh, there we go. Now you can see it if I get the light reflecting off it. But yeah, Denny Lawallen, um, Bob Molinaro, got Tim Blackwell, Kiko Garcia, Joe Rudy, uh, Jim Tracy, Alan Ashby, Pete McCannon, Dave Chalk, Johnny Grubb, Glenn Abbott. There's Dennis Lamp, Tom Poquette, the dual team leaders card signed by both Steve Kemp and Dan Petrie. Got a Cecil Cooper, Barry Foote, Del Unser, Dave Rossello, two of him, and a Dick Drago, plus a tops traded of Ron Washington. So there you go. Doesn't uh, specify that it's one from the traded set, so I'd be okay putting that one in. Let's move on to 1983. I've got an 83 that I'm hopefully going to be getting back in the mail Fairly soon. Might see it as early as this week, even. Maybe next week. Somewhere around, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, though. Not going to say much about it. And actually, now that I think about it, it's an OPG one rather than Tops. So we're probably going to tap the brakes on that one. Just try to stick to the uh, top set there on that one. So let's move into 83. Got one OPG. Uh, two OPGs right there. We've got Dave Hostetler and Bill Verdon. Let's go ahead and just show off the regular 83 top set. We've got Manny Trio. There's Paul Mirabella. We'll show you the design right there. The uh, Manny Trio one I've got is actually the Record Breakers card. So again, we'll try to avoid that one for the banner. We've got Paul Mirabella, Frank Tanana, Rance Mullenix, Mike Marshall, Dave LaRoche, Rene Latchman, Alan Bannister, Marv Foley, Ron Washington. It's technically Wash's rookie card. That uh, 82 is considered to be the uh, XRC, Extended Rookie Card. There's also Dave Goltz, Tom Needenfewer, there's uh, Phil Garner, Rick Sutcliffe, Johnny Wackenfuss. Got uh, Jack Percante, Randy Johnson, the infielder, not the pitcher. We've got uh, Steve Swisher, Ed Glynn, Bill Naharadny. We've got uh, Butch Hobson, Jerry Mumphrey, Randy Lurch, Buck Martinez, Luis Pujols, Rick Manning, Barry Bonnell. So, any of those sound good? Let me know. We'll see about putting them, those guys in. And from here, we're going to move on to 84. Got a couple of OPG ones, not going to bother showing those off, but do at least have a Hall of Famer here from the 84 set, and that would be Mr. Goose Gossage. That is a distinct possibility of one that might go up in the banner. Got a lot of 84s signed here. I remember I picked up a box of, uh, it's an 800 count box of random 1984 cards. Most of the set, quite a few doubles though still, but I mean, in there, I end up with. I mean, I paid, I think it was 8 bucks for it for 800 cards from that set, and so they gave me a lot of stuff to get signed in there, so uh, try to do as quick a rundown as I can with a pair of Billy Samples, Andy McGaffigan, Chris Chambliss, Dave Hostetler, Mike Smithson. I'm going to just try to stick to names that you haven't heard before yet, so uh, Ned Yost, Tim Stoddard, Bill Verdon, um, Charlie Huff, got a Butch Weiniger, Frank DePino, Broderick Perkins... Uh, Rick Waits, haven't heard his name in a while, if at all. Um, Scott McGregor, Jeff Russell, that I think might be Russell's rookie card right there. It's Charlie Polio, Len Matuzek, uh, Dave Dravecki, Al Bumbry, Pat Tabler, Chuck Rainey, uh, Jim Aker. We've got the duel here of uh, Terry Kennedy and Dave Dravecki, both on a team leader's card there. Who else we got here? Jamie Easterly, Bill Scherer, Doug Rader. So I'm still naming off just as many names, it seems like, right now. Steve Kemp, Luis Pujols, Bob Jones, uh, Gene Garber, Gary Reedus, uh, Floyd Rayford, Pete Falcone, Dan Ford, a couple of Dave Steves, uh, Gene Richards, Al Oliver, Tom Foley, Mike Marshall, the outfielder, George Vukovic, uh, Steve Yeager, Tom Brennan, Bob Shirley, Lynn Jones, Rich Dower. I think that pretty much covers everybody here. Jim Sundberg. So yeah, I think that's just about everybody from the uh, 84 set that is a name that I haven't said yet. So it's a lot to go through. I mean, we're at the 40 minute mark right now. I'm only up to 1984. Uh, 85, none to show off from the cased up ones. 
I have a couple of them from 86 to show, though, so sort of breaking the next group out of here. We're actually almost through all the baseball ones. Yeah, that's where baseball ends in my box is right there, so cool. Halfway through those, at least. It's the ones that aren't in the box, though, that are the absolute killer right now. So, the 86 set, of course, is the one that has the big black box at the top with the team name put in it. Let's get you guys into there. There we go. Slide on in. Perfect. So I can put this up there. Okay. That's good. So, 1986. There are quite a few to show off in here. Oh, actually, no. 85 is what I need first. I'm totally skipping a year. So, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We'll go into this 85 set first. So of course, the one that has the tilted team name box, the team logo in the circle. Great design right there. One of my favorites. Uh, so we've got in here Chris Bando, Jackie Moore, Spike Owen, Don Schultz, uh, Pat Corrales, Ernie Witt, uh, Jeff Kunkel on the uh, father-son one, with a uh, praise lord written over his uh, father's card right there, who had died a few years, I think may have died just before this card came out, I think. I'm not certain, though. That doesn't say anything on the back there. I could be wrong, but I... All I know is that Bill was dead by the time I was hoping to get it. By the time I got uh, Jeff to sign it, at least. So, Moving on from there, we've got uh, Steve Yeager. Um, let's see here. Mel Hall. We're, we're not we're not going to put Mel Hall in there. That's a guy that's just, nah, no. Yeah. Oh, we've got Mike Jeffcoat. Leon Durham. Forgot I had that Leon Durham. I traded for that at some point. Craig McMurtry. Uh, let's see. Denny Walling. Don August on the... Team USA card. Probably going to try to avoid the Team USA's there as well, just because it's such a different design there. I've got a Mickey Rivers, unfortunate failing pen on there, so probably going to try to avoid that one. Ah, oh, let's see. Any other names sticking out that I have not said yet? I think that's about all. Steve Farr. There's one that I haven't mentioned yet. And I've got a couple of the Topps Tiffany ones there in Mike Fishel and Broderick Perkins, and a Topps Traded of Toby Hera. I'd be okay with showing those ones off, too, on the banner. Whatever works. So moving to 1986 now. Um, let's see. Got a few from the traded set there, and we've got a couple of them in the cases here as well with uh, Rob Pizziolo and uh, Don Baylor, both unfortunately deceased. So they're in that box. So in the, among these still living, we've got Pete Rose. Uh, let's see here. Again, I'm going to try to keep to names I have not said yet. Bill Campbell, I don't think I've mentioned him at all. John Wathen hasn't come up. Andy McGaffigan, another one that I don't think I've mentioned until now. Jerry Reed. Uh, Ron Gardenhire, former uh, manager of the Minnesota Twins, right there. Let's see, Dennis Rasmussen, Greg Gross, Ed Romero. Don't think I mentioned Terry Francona at all. I know I mentioned Tito earlier on. Might be kind of cool to slip those two in. We have both put in there, get the Expos and Indians both represented then. I'm leaning toward that one, I think, for 86. Uh, let's see here. Other names include John Russell, not Jeff Russell, although Jeff Russell might be in the set as well. I'm sure he's in the set. I just don't know if I haven't signed. Uh, we've got Steve Bouchelle, Mickey Tettleton, Bob Baylor, Mark Sullivan, um, Al Bumbry. I may have mentioned Bumbry already. Whatever. Jackie Moore. What I like about the managers is that, unlike the 85 set, they didn't really do anything different on the manager cards. They just put MGR as the position there. Comes out real nice. I could go ahead and sneak one of those in if I wanted. Uh, let's see. Other names that are in here. Tom Browning. Mike Trujillo, uh, Jody Davis, Terry Leach, Vance Law. Then on the traded set, I've got Steve Farr, Jose Guzman, and uh, Joe Sambito all in there. So I'd be good with one of those as well. So 87 is going to be one that's going to be uh, this is gonna be a killer for 87. I mean, it's a set that I have a lot of. It's another one where I really like the design on it. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, just look at that. That's just the base set alone for 87 right there is in this pile. So, uh, just, I mean, naming off again a few uh, names here with uh, Dennis Powell, Doug DeSinces. Uh, here, we'll actually put one of those up just so you can actually see what I'm talking about there. The wood board design harkens back to 1962. So, we've got Doug DeSinces, Dennis Powell, uh, Bill Swift, Walt Terrell, Brian Ulkers, John Tudor, Billy Bean, Randy Neiman. Bruce Benedict, Charlie's Char Charles Hudson, blah. Corey Snyder, my favorite player, Corey Snyder. Might go with that one for the 87. Well, let's see here. We've got uh, Mariano Duncan, Rick Shu, Mike Birkbeck, Mike Smithson, Dan Plesak, Doug Drabick, a couple of those, uh, Franklin Stubbs, Bob Rogers. This is where I started putting that manager 
classification, they're uh, clearly above there. So I'm probably going to try to avoid using uh, Buck as the uh, representative there. Uh, moving on through here, let's see. We've got Hal Lanier, Storm Davis, uh, Billy Joe Robido, Jim Aker, Johnny Meisrock, Floyd Rayford, Ed Hearn is in there, Scott Terry. Uh, let's see, Roger Mason, Greg Gagne. Got Scott Bales in there. There's uh, Kurt Stilwell. Rafael Palmero won, too. Um, that's got the Future Stars designation, though, so I'm probably going to try to avoid that one as well. Uh, Benny DiStefano, Bill Campbell, Gary Renicki, Ernie Witt, Tippi Martinez in there. I think I mentioned Tippi earlier. And that's about it on this one. Dan Schatzeter, I may have mentioned him. Not sure. Got a few of the tops traded as well, which I wouldn't mind utilizing those if I had to. Or just if I really wanted to, or if somebody else really wanted me to. A7 top straight, we got Casey Candell. Um, got another Terry Francona in there. Willie Fraser, Jim Gott, Dion James, Jack Lazorko. Uh, it's Bill Long, Dave Schmidt, Steve Shields, Ed Vandenberg. So, a lot of options on that 87 set. What I'm thinking I'm probably going to do is I might call this a day once we get up to the end of the 1980s. I mean, we're already over 45 minutes right now, and I have already cut off one of these beforehand because I didn't like the fact that it had gone on that long. So, I'm going to at least get through the 88 and 89 sets here, and we'll probably call it a day after that. So, taking a look at the 88 set, only one in the deceased box, and that is Russ Nixon. Unfortunately, that's a manager card, so we won't be using that one on the... Uh, banner. Take a look on down here. We've also got, uh, so we'll show you the regular one. So there you go with Ed Romero to lead things off. Oh, yeah, I've got Ed Romero. There's uh, Jimmy Jones, Todd Benzinger. Forgot I had that one. Let's see here. Johnny Grubb, Greg Matthews, Jeff Reed, Don Gordon, Tom Kelly, but manager one again. Oh, let's see. There's Nelson Liriano. Tom Treblehorn is a manager. Uh, Wallace Johnson, uh, Pete Incavilia, Ron Kittle, Floyd Rayford, I've got Chris Spire, we've got Vance Law, I think I mentioned Law before, Willie Fraser, may have mentioned him too, Eric Bell, Casey Candell, but this one has the uh, Topps Rookie Cup on it there as part of the uh, Topps All Rookie Team, so won't be using that one at all, unfortunately. Uh, let's see here. Continuing on through, got Brett Butler, got Mark Gubiza, Greg Gross, got a Bob Tewksbury in here as well. Calvin Schiraldi, forgot that I got the Schiraldi card here signed. I've got a couple from him recently. Uh, let's see, three of Chris Bando. Wow, did not have that many on that card. Uh, let's see, we've got a Bruce Benedict. I think I mentioned him before earlier. Lee Guterman, Getterman, something like that. Got him. Rick Ruschel is in here as well. Denny Walling, Pete O'Brien, Doug Sisk. And the Future Stars one there with Jose Leans. Nice card, going to have to avoid, though, because of the Future Stars. Got Keith Comstock. This is the correct version where it has the team color in the correct uh, blue shade rather than white. I've also got Jeff Ballard, Joe Sambito, and traded ones of Don August, Roberto Kelly, Jack McKeon, and Cookie Rojas. So once again, if one of those sticks out in your mind, mention it, comment, see what we can do. And we're coming up on our last one for now. We're going to start the 90s in our next video, which I'm probably going to record right after this, but I'm probably not going to post for about another week or two. But yeah, the 89 set is how we're going to finish this portion off. Um, got one deceased, uh, two, three deceased, and one Hall of Famer. The deceased one's all managers. <laughs> But there's the Hall of Famer right there, a Goose Gossage card once again. Pick that one up in a trade. But then out of the managers, we have Dallas Green, Doc Edwards, and Russ Nixon. Again, we'll be, yeah, dropping Russ there. Won't be uh, using these in the banner photo at all, but worth showing off at least. There we go. So, this one right there. Let's get on here to the regular set. So like Jim Sundberg, for example, starting things off. We've got him, we've got Jody Davis, uh, let's see, there's Lance uh, Lance Johnson, Dave Anderson, Spike Owen, Mark Grant, uh, Curtis Wilkerson, uh, let's see here, Scott Bales, 
Turning into a lot of names again that I have already mentioned. Steve Rosenberg was one that has not come up yet. Tony Oliva, but that's a turn back the clock card. So let's let's yeah, I'm not probably not gonna go go with that one at all. Uh, let's see here. We've got Zane Smith, Jamie Quirk. I forgot that I traded for that quirk at some point. Let's see, Ron Tingley is in there. And I think that, yeah, that's about it for names that I have not yet brought up. I'm going to take a quick look and see what I have for the 89 traded set, but I don't think it's going to be very many on those, and I just put that into the wrong spot. That's really great of me. There we go. Okay. Close those up. He's here. Yeah, I've got some from the 89 big set, 89 debut. There we go. There's where the trade it is. There's a lot of 89 uh, non-base sets I've got stuff for. and got the uh, debut set, the all-stars, the rookies. Senior League set. I'm not going to bother putting any of those up in there, but yeah, from the traded set here, we've got uh, Don Ace, Benny DiStefano, Jim Eisenreich, Lee Guterman, uh, Mark Howe, or Mark Howe, Art Howe, Marcus Gordy's son, Hockey Hall of Famer, totally different guy. Um, there's Dave LaPointe, Terry Leach, Pete O'Brien, Jesse Orozco, that was a nice one. Uh, Spike Owen, Dennis Powell, Rick Shu. So I've got some options right there for the 1989 set. So, a little 50 minutes, I think that's probably a good stopping point right there. So we'll start off with the next decade in the next Show Off Sunday video, which I plan to post up probably next weekend. And go ahead and film it now. We'll hold it off for next weekend, though, so I'm not bombarding everybody with so much stuff. But again, thanks for tuning in here on this one. And like I said, if there's any of those in particular you think deserve a spot on my page banner, on my uh, intro banner, on anything like that, leave it as a comment. I'm going to try to get as many different teams represented on there as i can don't want to double up any players even if it's with different teams as well so yeah put your recommendations in there let me know thanks for tuning in once again hopefully your mailbox are going to be full coming up this week